I want to address three key points about the potential of feminist foreign policies to transform our multilateral system. First, through coalitions among member states promoting feminist principles. Second, through partnerships between member states and civil society organizations. And third, mainstreaming feminist policies inside government. As we approach the summit of the future, I see the growth of feminist foreign policies and the promotion of feminist principles as tools to transform the multilateral system. We cannot forget the call in the new agenda for peace to dismantle patriarchal power structures, and feminist foreign policies can be tools to help us at least examine those structures. From the UN context in New York, we're seeing a united and strong anti-gender movement. Therefore, there's an opportunity for member states with feminist foreign policies to come together and align on feminist positions in multilateral spaces. Anti-gender movements are taking ownership of the concept of family and using it to signify a narrow understanding of kinship, one that is heterosexual and patriarchal and that limits women's roles to the household. States with feminist foreign policies can engage as a coalition in these dialogues and promote more inclusive and feminist visions of family. Civil society can also be a key resource for member states with feminist foreign policies, not only in supporting their aspirational goals, but also in holding them accountable in implementing their feminist foreign policies. So often, language around gender is the negotiating chip that gets sacrificed, but states with feminist foreign policies or those that espouse feminist principles have to keep feminist principles as a priority. Recently, the Doha Three negotiations on Afghanistan occurred. Afghan women were excluded and human rights were not on the agenda in the negotiations with the Taliban. Member states with feminist foreign policy must work together to prevent this from happening in the future. Feminist foreign policies can bring hope to a struggling multilateral system, but this will take commitment, focus, and courage.